Yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. Today we got something super special planned out and I have some special announcements before we get into today's video. So let's just hop into those announcements. All right, so our channel and our garage has its first sponsor. If you guys don't know, my plan, my goal in the future is to open my own customs garage. Crazy big plan, but I'm chasing after my dreams. So we're going with it and we have our first sponsor. So I wanna thank APL, you guys see it here, APL. They do custom buttons, switches, relays anything you guys can think of electronically for uh, marine automotive anything that you guys can think of they make it so today we have some switches that they were nice enough to send out to me and we're going to be installing these along with an auxiliary fuse box and some relays to show you guys how to wire everything so i pulled one of these switches out this is what they look like super high tech and high quality so i got the white led ones and the orange led ones which i'm going to be using both of those colors inside of the subaru right here 150 millimeter pre-wired super nice if you guys want to pick up some of these switches i'll have a link down in the description on where you guys can pick some up from amazon and also just thank you to apl for sending me out these switches so let's just jump right into today's video like i said we're going to be installing those buttons that apl sent out to us and a fuse box that we can run those buttons through so let me show you guys what the plan is today I already started a little bit on this project. I started drilling out and I actually already installed the fuse box and all that, but I'm gonna take you guys through the steps on how to do it step-by-step. Step. Let's go. You guys can see here, I already drilled out these. We're gonna be putting buttons there. We're gonna have a base controller here. We're gonna be putting buttons right over here. You guys can see where the fuse box is at. I've been driving with it for about a week now and it's not getting in the way, so that's a perfect location for it. I'm gonna show you guys how we wire everything and the explanation behind everything, so let's go. So on any vehicle that you guys are working on, if you're gonna be working on electronics, you always wanna disconnect the battery. So we're gonna take a 10 millimeter wrench here and we're gonna disconnect the negative terminal of the battery. So for most cars, that 10 millimeter bolt is gonna be a 10 millimeter. Some cars may be different. I honestly have never worked with a car that is different than 10 millimeter. But once you get that disconnected, you're good to go. So I already started some wiring for the fuse box. I'm gonna show you guys how I did that. You guys can see here on the battery, I know the battery is crusty, don't make fun of it. But we have a red wire coming straight from the battery, going all the way down. Now this wire is going into the inner fender here. If you look closely inside the fender, you'll see the red wire running all the way through where it actually goes into a grommet that's in the fender going through the firewall into the cabins. So that red wire that runs through the grommet in the fender and comes all the way through here actually hooks up to this relay here now i'm going to show you guys how these relays work but first just know that there's a power there's a fuse there's a ground and there's an accessory so if you guys have never worked with a relay before as i've never worked with one until this project they're actually really cool they make sure that everything turns off when you turn the car off pretty simple now the way you wire it is a little different you can see there's five prongs here and there's a diagram here showing on what these prongs indicate. So you guys can see that number 30 right there, that's gonna be our constant battery. So that red wire is coming from, from our battery is going into this prong 30. Now, this bar right here where my fingernail is at, that means that when this is switched off, power is going to 87A. We don't want that, we want power to go to 87. So to do that, we're gonna ground 86 and supply power to 85. When we supply power to 85, that's gonna switch the bridge to supply power to 87. And that's where a fuse tap comes in. Now you guys can see the fuse tap right here in the middle of the screen, running all the way up into this relay. That fuse tap right there specifically for me is wired into an AC fuse. So that means when I turn the car on, when the AC comes on, this gets switched, providing power to the fuse box down below. Now, if you guys have never worked with relays in your life, like I said, I've never done relay ever, but I suggest you pick it up. They are kind of intimidating to learn, first of all, but once you start to get the groove of wiring and electrical stuff, it honestly all just starts coming together pretty easy. So if you guys have never worked with a relay, pick one up, work with them, pick up some buttons from APO, and work with those too. So it might be a little hard to see, but you can see I already had the fuses in place there. That right there is gonna be our battery wire. That is what's running from the relay to the fuse box. And then of course we have a ground wire and that ground just connects to anywhere. Now the best thing about picking up a two-way fuse box like this, positive and negative, is that one, you can supply power from that, control it by switches or buttons, whatever you guys choose. And two, you can run that ground wire from that accessory all the way back to that fuse box if there isn't one here, or you don't want a bunch of ground wires all around your car. We're gonna get to installing these buttons. I'm super excited to get them in, so let's jump into it. So the nice thing about APL switches is that they come with a diagram, no matter what you purchase, they come with a diagram on how you guys can wire your switches or buttons. So you see, I have a wiring diagram here. There's a bunch more products on the back of what they sell, but basically 
This wiring diagram is saying we can either hook it up to where the LED is always on or on when we push it. Now for me specifically, I want mine on when I push it. So that's how we're gonna be wiring it. The way that this is gonna work is our buttons are gonna receive power from the fuse box. So every time we push it, the LED is gonna come on and our accessory is gonna come on. And every time we push it back on, it'll turn off and the accessory will turn off. So there's that with the button in it. You can see it's super sleek, super nice. When you push the button in, it pretty much disappears. It looks like it's supposed to be there, honestly. Now, the one problem that I have with this is you guys can see this shaft here. This shaft does not allow me to put this locking nut, this locking nut over to hold the button in place. So the button's kind of just going in and out. Now, these are what we're gonna be using for our white buttons. It's an easy fix. All we have to do is cut out the shaft. So I picked up a Dremel. We're gonna cut it off, no problem. We're gonna be putting our orange LEDs on these, which is gonna be a lot easier. You see, no shaft, pretty much the same part, just no shaft which will allow me to put the locking nut right on the back. You can see it's sitting in there and we'll be able to put our button right on the face. So I like to take care of the easy problems first. So let's go ahead and do the oranges first and then we'll go ahead and do the whites. So I got all of the button switches installed on the places that we're gonna be putting them. I don't really know what to call these, but you can see you got a bunch of wiring here. So we're gonna get these hooked up to the fuse box. So I know that the way I wanna do it is this wire right here, the black wire is gonna to go to the ground and this blue wire, if black is on bottom, the blue wire to the left is gonna to go to the power and that's gonna make it so that every time we push the button in, it turns on and it'll turn on our accessory. All right, so you guys just saw me pull everything together, cut the wires, put them on together, solder them together. And now I have them here. So you guys see, I just extended the wires a little bit, taped them up so it's all organized besides the ends. Black is obviously the ground, blue is the power. So we're gonna go ahead, put this in the car. Then we're gonna hook it up to our fuse box and then we should get power. So let's go ahead, get this in and let's test it out. Alrighty, so I got a light down here. You guys can see all the wires are hooked up to the fuse box. We have all the blues connected to where our power is coming from, which is right there and all our black lines connected to the negative return. And of course, all of our fuses are in. Now what we can do is reconnect our negative terminal on our battery. We'll go ahead and close this just to clean it up a little bit and reconnect the negative terminal. So we're gonna go ahead and push this on. You guys can see they are not coming on because the car is off. So now we're gonna take our keys here, put it into the slot. And the reason we hooked it up into the AC so we do not have to start the car or turn the car over. All we have to do is put it into the on position. And now you will see whenever we push the buttons, the light comes on, which is perfect. And that's exactly what we want. And when we turn the key off, lights go off, back on, lights back on. Perfect. All right, y'all, you guys saw the switches. That's all I have time for for today. I did want to install those orange slash yellow ones, but I do not have the time to today. I hope you guys did enjoy this project. If you guys are new to the channel and have not yet subscribed, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below. Also hit that thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the video. Also, thank you again to APL for sending me out these buttons. I love them. They're awesome, super high quality. And for all the viewers out there, if you guys want to pick them up, I will have those in the description below. It's been your boy Taven. Catch you guys in the next one.